Finding effective COVID-19 vaccine formulas alone is not enough to put the global COVID-19 pandemic behind us. And that's why the Texas A&M University system is helping with the mass production of two additional COVID-19 vaccine candidates at the request of the federal government. So today I'm at the National Center for Therapeutics Manufacturing on the College Station campus, where a dedicated team of A&M scientists have worked nearly nonstop for months training workers on the biomanufacturing basics needed to produce our COVID-19 vaccine candidates. With just four instructors and a handful of support staff, We've trained more than 200 new hires and employees at Fujifilm Dyson Biotechnologies Texas, our biomanufacturing subcontractor. At least one of the vaccine candidates these A&M scientists are helping with might soon be approved for use in the United States and around the world. How we quantify our cells, our, how many, see how many cells we have in a cell culture, and then see how many of them are alive, see what percentage of them are viable. The rock in motion uh, provides exchange of gases, exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is really important to maintain pH of the medium. The cells are broken down because a lot of biologics are produced intracellularly, means inside the cells. In order to obtain the biologics, we need to break open the cells. We're basically trying to purify our product or our vaccine from all of the other impurities that were produced upstream of the process. The NCTM is part of the Texas A&M Engineering Experiment Station. The employee training is arranged through the Center for Innovation and Advanced Manufacturing here in College Station, which is a Texas A&M program stood up in 2012 for just this kind of pandemic. So what we do for Fujifilm is an onboarding program where we take a seven day, very condensed program in upstream and downstream bioprocessing aseptic technique and we give people who are unfamiliar with biology, cell biology and the therapeutics manufacturing industry the basic background to understand how to join a company like Fujifilm. And so we get them about 75% of the way there and then Fujifilm will train them on their own proprietary processes. We need to rapidly get the vaccines to the public market. And Fujifilm needed to onboard people to pump out these vaccines at a very rapid pace. And they have been hiring at a pace of more than 20 to 30 employees every single month. And we have been onboarding 20 to 30 employees back to back to back to back. So um, Fujifilm did not have the workforce in hand that was necessary to manufacture the vaccines at the pace that was required by our nation. As a director of NCTM, I'm really proud of our team uh, being able to uh, exert uh, uh, significant uh, uh, efforts in uh, helping us to fight a COVID uh, pandemic. We started in August and from August until November, we basically had no breaks. <laughs> and then we had a small break and then we've, we've, we've fortunately gotten a little bit of a reprieve here and there, but you know, we actually just came off of a back-to-back -back training. We just go, 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 um, but it's, it's a lot of fun. We feel proud that we are a part, of, part and parcel of, of a mission which is going to help the nation. It's just been a Herculean effort from the scientific community as a whole in order to really fight this virus. Being with NCTM since its inception in 2012 and seeing us to where we are today is uh, a source of great pride for me because we were created um, to do just this, to be able to rapidly prepare people to respond to a major global pandemic and so my pride is exponential. Saving the world, yes, it's a great feeling. I love it. I love it.